Hi, my name is Mark McCormick. I'm an education specialist with the Environmental Nature Center, and I'm here for us to meet another animal ambassador. Her name is Fernanda, and Fernanda is a California king snake. She's called a king snake because she can eat all other snakes, even deadly rattlesnakes. If a deadly rattlesnake was to bite her and inject venom, she wouldn't really care. She's pretty much immune to the venom, and what she's gonna do, she's gonna wrap around the snake and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, until their heart can't pump blood into their head. Now, snakes and other reptiles, they don't need a lot of blood pumped into their head to survive. No offense, they're not that smart. So, she has to be able to squeeze extra hard. In fact, for her size, she's one of the strongest snakes on planet Earth. But if you notice, she's wrapped around my hand. Do you think that she's trying to wrap around my hand and then turn me into breakfast, lunch, or dinner? No. What she's doing is, she's a reptile, and reptile are, they're cold, Blooded, which means that their blood or body temperature can go up when they're in the sh uh, sun, down when they're in the sh uh, shade, up in the sun, down in the shade, up in the sun, down in the shade. And if you look behind me, we're in pretty nice shade right now. So she's a little bit cold and she's wrapped around my hand to steal my warmth. I'm not a reptile. I'm a mammal, human being. And my body works pretty hard, just like yours, to keep your blood the same temperature all day day 98.6 degrees almost 100 degrees but my friend doesn't need that but this does allow her to live in different places comfortably like the desert where it's really 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 hot no problems there or the mountains where it might be really cold she doesn't have any problems there so she can live in lots of different habitats because her blood can change temperatures which is pretty nice and if you take a look at her wrapped around my hand you can see she's, she's sticking out her tongue She's not doing that to be rude to you. She's sticking out her tongue to smell. Each time she flicks out her tongue, she can smell things, and she can smell what direction those smells are coming from. She sticks the tongue back in her mouth, and she has something called the Jacobson organ, which allows her to figure out what those smells are and where they're coming from. A pretty great superpower, if you ask me. Well, another superpower she has is her colors. Her colors help her to blend in where she lives here in orange, County. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put her on the ground and see if she can blend in with the colors of the ground. There she goes. I'm going to hold the end of her tail just in case she decides to be really fast. But because she's cold, she's going to be pretty sleepy. And she's not going to be wanting to be going really, really fast. If she was warm, she would want to move pretty fast, go out and find some food. But right now she's pretty cold. That's why she's not moving very much. But can you see how she blends in with the light colored sticks and the dark colored sticks on the ground? It's a pretty great adaptation. Because Fernanda is a native species to Orange County, you can come and see her. You can come to the museum here at the Environmental Nature Center and you can see where she lives. You can see her house. You can see sometimes she likes to bury herself underneath the ground and go to sleep there. And sometimes she likes to slither around just like that. Now, she can slither around on the ground because she has special scales in the bottom of her body called scoots. And if I flip her over, you can see those scales look a little bit different than the scales on the top of her body. Just like your hands and your feet, they're very similar, right? They have, you have uh, 10 toes, you have 10 fingers, you have nails on each one, but they do very, very different jobs if you've ever tried to walk on your hands or if you've ever tried to write your name with a pencil your toes doesn't work out very well the same thing is true for my friend and her scoots she has special scales all over her body that protect her but she has special scales on the bottom that help her move around the environmental nature center provides a tremendous service for our community free public access to nature environmental education and a sanctuary for our community to escape from life's pressures the enc depends on income from programs to fund our operations and pay staff the recent school shutdowns will result in a considerable loss of income for the center. Please consider becoming an ENC member or making a donation. Any amount helps. To donate, please visit encenter.org. Thank you.